welcome again to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a 125th scale Revell 1960 Chevrolet Impala. This kit was actually a Frankenstein kit. What I mean by that was I bought it for parts. I had never intended to build it. When I did finally build it, I had to grab parts from other kits and put into it just to make it a complete model kit. It actually was a banner photo on the Revell Model Builders Worldwide Facebook page. So for it to be featured as a banner photo on one of these worldwide Facebook pages just completely blew me away. But here's a picture of that. I had a friend of mine who asked me to build a model to replicate a real car that he had, a 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. I bought this kit because I needed the wheels that were in the kit because it was the closest thing that I could find that would match the wheels on his car. I actually robbed the bench seat out of it for his model as well. Uh, after I started putting everything together and I realized that his car had a bench seat and so did this one. So I actually robbed parts from it, um, put it away for a while and had no intention of building it. Well, I got to looking at it one day, going through the box, looking at the parts that were still there. And I had a stash kit uh, with a bunch of extra parts. So I started kind of doing an inventory and I had wheels and I had some seats, I actually had the seats that came out of the Chevelle kit. So, I kind of started laying it all out. I'm like, you know what, let me just go ahead and build it. So, that's what I did. Some of the changes that I've made to it, uh, you can see that I have put ignition wires on it. This is a 409 big block Chevrolet. I did the bracket for the alternator. So that's just not sitting out there in space, hanging all alone. Uh, battery cables. Very difficult to see, but it is there. Um, brake lines on the master cylinder. Tried to get the grill to look as realistic as possible. The word Chevrolet on the front of the hood, that is a hand painted item. Sure if you can see through the windshield very well. I put dice in it, fuzzy dice, hanging from the rear view mirror, because that was kind of a, a period thing back when this car would have been popular. I keep the car inside of a display case, so it keeps the dust off of it, keeps it looking nice and clean. So there you have it, and I'm going to show you some of the build photos that I took. Thanks for watching. 
Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel so you can follow me, and as usual, have a great day. I meant to turn the camera off.